Hello and welcome back. Over the last week or so, I keep getting asked the same question through our social media channels from parents, dance teachers, and future students. What are the best colleges? This is a huge question because there are so many factors into what makes a good college. Plus, although I personally work with a lot of colleges and I spend time researching the colleges, their courses, and their audition criteria, I don't actually attend the colleges as a student. You're too old! In this video, I'm gonna give you a list of the things to look at and consider when researching colleges. Keep watching to the end of the video as I'm gonna tell you what I think is the most important factor, and this often gets ignored when it comes to choosing a college. When it comes to looking at colleges, I think you should consider these five things. The focus of the course, the type of course, the location of the school, the level of pastoral care, and smaller and newer schools. Let's look at them all individually, starting with the course focus. No matter what the college website tells you, most courses have a focus or a type of student that they tend to produce. You need to make sure that that student and that focus matches you and your goals for your career. If you're looking to study purely dance or acting, it is easier to narrow down your college search. Look at the recent graduates and you will see what type of students they are currently producing. With musical theatre courses, it can be a lot more difficult. As a generalisation, colleges like Lanes, Birds, Performers, Wilkes and Millennium are more dance-based schools. That isn't to say that they don't produce amazing singers and actors, because they do. Ruthie Henschel and Kerry Ellis are both Lanes graduates, but if you were to take the average over the last five years, that average would sway more towards dance being the strength of those colleges. Then you have your acting and singing focused musical theatre courses, like Guildford, the Royal College of Music in Mount View. On a little side note, personally, I really rate the dance department at Mount View. They're really forward thinking and progressive. So even though traditionally Mount View is an acting and singing focused school, you're gonna get some excellent dance training there. As for the ultimate triple threat school, if you take the graduate successes over the last 10 years, when it comes to triple threat graduates, Arts Ed leads the way, and they have done for a few years now. But how can you tell a school's focus? Look at their social media. If the school posts lots of videos of dancers and every post features someone dancing, that means the college have chosen that image or video because they think it represents their course. Therefore, it's a pretty good indicator to the course's focus. Now number two, yes, I said number two. <laughs> the type of course you choose. It's normally a choice between degree or a diploma. The courses themselves will be almost identical, but with a degree, you'll have to do more written work, but you will be eligible to more funding. A few colleges are starting to offer degree top-up courses now, where you can upgrade your diploma later on. But ask yourself this question, will you really want to do another year's study a few years after graduating, or should you try, if you can, to do your degree now? Number three, the location of the college. Do you want to move to London? You might be desperate to leave home and head to a big city, or you might dread leaving the family dog. Over the last few years, some terrific colleges have appeared outside London. The Leeds Conservatoire, SLP, Wilkes, Chichester University, the Royal Scottish Conservatoire in Glasgow. So don't rule them out just because they're outside London. The course content will be similar, but you'll be able to save money on the fees, accommodation and living expenses. Meaning, you don't have to work every night after college to survive. That will enable you to focus more on your training. Number four, pastoral care. How well do the colleges look after its students? Do they value mental health and the students' well-being highly? Do they get to know you as an individual and therefore adapt their teaching to get the most out of you? Pastoral care has been particularly important during the pandemic with students missing training and having to move to online learning. And this leads me directly into number five, the smaller and newer schools. Don't rule out smaller or newer schools they might not have their reputation fully established and a huge list of graduates working yet. That doesn't mean the training isn't of the highest quality. Often, they'll have less students and therefore the pastoral care and student welfare is a lot better. So although you would be at a smaller college, your personal training experience could be better. 
I told you I was keeping my top tip till the end, and that is to trust your gut feeling. When you audition or interact with a college, you'll get a feeling inside of you as to whether it feels right. On occasions, the college that you've dreamed of attending for years and years, when you get there, there is something about the place that makes you feel uneasy. It could be the atmosphere, the building, the type of students, anything. It just doesn't feel right. Why would you train there? Yet, yeah, a smaller college you might have auditioned for as a kind of fallback option, you could immediately fall in love with the place and feel at home. You have to be happy in order to get the most out of your training. Normally you'd get a feel for the college on audition day, but with online auditions, this is more difficult. You should take advantage of virtual open days. Over the next few weeks, schools are offering virtual open days where you can get a tour of the college, take a class, hear from students and staff members. If you follow us on our social media channels, we'll post all the info for you, letting you know when they are happening and how to sign up. Although these open days can't replace going to the building, they will give you an insight into the atmosphere of the college and a feel for what the staff are like. What you feel about a college is a completely individual experience. Do your research and trust your gut instinct. If you have any questions about your upcoming additions, please contact us either through the comments on this video or any of our social media channels. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.